Okay, we're back for round two of Edison Format at Epic Cards and Games between... I don't remember this guy's name. I just remember his Discord name. I think it's Bluffknock. I think that's his name. I don't remember. I could be wrong. But he's going up against Ryan playing uh, Machina Frogs. I'm pretty sure he's playing Zombies. He's got that Pokemon, that Charmander mat. Okay. So I couldn't really tell. The, it did sp speed up the duel a little bit. So it looks like Ryan's going first. Let's see how it's going to go. Ryan usually plays on that map, but he reason I think he's been forgetting at home. So he starts off by special summoning Swap Frog, discarding Treeborn, sends Substitute. So he must have another Substitute in hand, yep. Okay, so here comes the full Frog combo. So I'm guessing Ryan's going to end with like a Dupe Frog, and he's going to leave the sub up there so that he can uh, get... In. That's my guess. So let's see. This is the, I usually do this play as well. I used to do the double dupe block right away, but I think this play is better. So, yeah, he does. Yeah, this is. I, I usually leave, like, one swap in the deck and the one um, Unifrog. Maybe he drew his other substitute. I don't think he put it in the grave. Did he dump both his Treeborns? I don't know if he did. Usually, that's what I do. I get, like, the Treeborns. I just leave one swap in the, in the Unifrog in the deck. Going first, and your opponent like your opponent doesn't have any cards on the field. Okay, so he starts out with instant fusion. Oh, I should probably keep track of life. Luckily, we just started. So, where's this Nugron app? I've been thinking about. Okay, so he summons the musician king. I saw that zombie, that new zombie deck, whatever. Okay, so what's he gonna do? So he loses a thousand. So that's if I play Upstart Golem, I'm giving my opponent free <laughs> instant fusions. Okay, so he's looking at his extra deck. So is that is Musician King a five or a four? I'm pretty sure it's a five. So a normal summon Diva. Kind of weird the way. Diva get another Diva, and he that's his normal summon. So he can make a seven. Or is Musician King a four? I can't tell from here. Muse. I guess we'll find out what these synchros. Okay. So let's see. Is it a five or a six? So it's a five, yeah. So it's, he makes Arcanite. He's going to blow up both. So first he blows up the dupe. I guess he might want to summon it in attack mode. He must not play D.Va. I mean, Gilman. Maybe he only plays two. I know a lot of zombie players only play two D.Va. I guess he was thinking about maybe attacking, but you're probably going to lose those tokens anyway. So this doesn't seem like that strong of a play. I mean, he dealt with the dupe block, but... All right, so he gets Treeborn. Here comes Caius. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he plays that Chaos Sphere. So apparently it searches any level 3 monster. I thought it was only Machine, but Ryan told me he searches any level 3 monster. So he gets Junk Synchron here. It's like a Monarch, so it gets its effect as soon as it's summoned. And let's see, he's going to hit over. And that second effect where it, it, once per turn it can't be destroyed by a battle is actually pretty annoying. When Ryan summoned it on me, I was kind of upset because I couldn't deal with it. Because of that, for that effect. So, but here... Gosh, I don't remember this guy's name. I only met him once. So, or I met him twice, but I don't remember his name. Alright, so... I remember I did speed up the duel a little bit because I don't want the videos to run too long. So... This is the thing about zombies, which I'm, I'm kind of not a fan of the deck. A lot of the time, they just have to like set monsters and let have you attack into them. Like, I feel like a card like Doom Cow would be really good against this deck. And DD Crow hurts him really bad as well. Okay, does he have Caius? Ooh, here comes a Caius. And he does take a thousand from the burn damage. So let's see. Mirror Force? No, no Mirror Force? Ooh. I don't remember. Okay, I think Chaos Sphere is 1900 attack. Let me look it up, because this is kind of a interesting card that I'd never seen before until Ryan summed it on me. Oh, Sphere of Chaos. Sorry, I call it Chaos Sphere. Sphere of Chaos is a dark monster, level 5, 
Oh, it's only 1,600 attack. But it's also treated as a light monster. Okay. So you could drop Honest on this thing, if it matters. So anyway, he's, uh... I'm pretty sure his name on Discord is Bluffknock. So he just sets a back row, sets another monster. Probably another recruiter or a goblin zombie. If if Ryan can, like, get Kai's back in his hand... I don't think so. I think he's got a card trooper. Junk Synchron. So, yeah, he took 16 from that. So, he's at 44 to Ryan's 8,000. We know Ryan's got Junk Synchron. Ooh, Unifrog. That, so, uh, either A, he had it in his opening hand, or he just drew it recently. So, he takes 400. Pops. Ooh, set brain control. That's nice. <laughs> Don't have to worry about brain control for the rest of the game. So he ran, runs into Sangan. What's he going to get, though? Okay, Plague. What does Plague do here, though? Or, no, sorry. He hasn't hit He hasn't hit with one of... Which one has he not attacked with? What was it Plague or, chaos, or Sphere of Chaos? Yeah, yeah, I, I was pretty sure. So he hits for 24... So now he's at 1,600 life points to Ryan's 8,000. Let's see what he can do. I think he's got another instant fusion in his hand. So maybe he's got a Black Rose play. But Ryan's got a bunch of cards, so... It's not looking good for him. Let's see. I think like three monsters and one spell. It could be my body. It looks like my body as well. I can't really tell. Let's see. It looks like he's about to activate it. Maybe he's asking a ruling. Okay, so it was another instant fusion. So now he's at 600. That's one thing I don't like about instant fusion. You just pay so much life points. But if Upstart becomes popular, maybe the card will be better if everyone starts playing Upstart in their deck. It might not be that bad. All right. Okay, so it gets the Dark Fire Dragon, whatever its name is. I know some people have played Instant Fusion in their in their Hero Frog deck. Because you can, you can summon that Mariner, I think. So it's a water and a hero monster. So that card's just okay. So he summons Goyo. So he's got two cards in hand, one back row. Plague Spreader in the graveyard. So what do you take here? Probably Caius or Treeborn. You trying to just stop him from summoning Treeborn? Oof. Oh, Book of Life. Bring back Plague. Okay, so this way he kind of gets rid of... What's he going to make? Does he just scoop? I guess I'm guessing he just scooped. I think maybe he had, maybe Ryan told him what he had. Yeah, he just scoops. Here we go, game two. So he just sets a back row, summons Zombie Master. And passes? Whoa. Oh, trap does shoot. Okay. <laughs> so he opened does shoot and just set it right away. So let's see, Ryan opened Double DD Crow, Gear Frame, Swap Frog, Treatment Frog, and Regeki Break. So if I'm in this situation, what do I send back? Oof. Part of the gear frame, because you're going to lose your zombie master for nothing. He's got double crow, so... I'm thinking either... Yeah, because he's going to have access to swap frog. I would send back the gear frame. Just so at least my zombie master doesn't die right away. So yeah, that's that's, that's what I would send. He's got double crow, swap, and he's probably going to summon swap. Kick down treeborn. Book of Life is so good in this matchup. So apparently, even if like I crow your his Book of Life, he still gets to banish my Treeborn. So it's such a dumb ruling, but it's the way it works. At least that's what I've told, been told, and I trust the two people who told me this. Okay, so let's see who's going here. Looks like Bluffknock. I think that's his name. So he MSTs the Regeki Break. Well, Ryan's probably gonna chain. Why not? Yeah. So now he's got what? Five cards in hand? Let 
Let's see, is he gonna book a life here? It, I, I, I said this before, but I think Zombies is the one deck that can side DD Crow against Frogs because you can get both rid of both there. Okay, so he so Ryan knows he still gets to banish, summon Diva. I don't think he plays Gilman though. Let's see if he does. Yeah, see, I, I, I was pretty positive. They just play they just play two divas, and I'm guessing he's just trying to get them out of the deck. Maybe he has instant fusion. He probably does. Summon both of them in attack mode. I'm guessing here comes instant fusion is gonna come down. Or not. Or he could just hit for 400. <laughs> Maybe he's got something to stop a summon. Because we know Ryan's got Swap Frog in hand. Okay. Let's see. What's Ryan going to do? So yeah, he's got basically one card in hand, one back row. We know Ryan's got DD Crow. Okay. Summon Swap Frog. Kick down another swap. Sometimes I've been thinking about side decking bur Burial from different dimension and frogs, but it the thing is, I think not everyone sides in Crow or there's too many cards that are good against frogs to do that because like your opponent might or might not side deck DD Crow and like Soul Release and stuff, so we don't know. Like some people like Master Strict, some people like Pulling the Rug, some people like Dinah, so. It's just too much variance there, I think. Okay, so now Ryan's going. I'm wondering if he plays any defense, because we haven't seen any defense from the zombie deck. Seems like a very aggressive build, like with uh, instant fusion. But we haven't seen any like defensive, no like bottomlesses, torrentials, wing blast, none of that stuff. But it feels like Ryan drew kind of bad because he's just... We know he's got two crows. Okay, so he hits the back row, which we haven't seen him use any defense so far. Will this be the first card? He's thinking about changing. Maybe it's a Regeki Break or a Wing Blast. Oh, it's Compose. Okay. That's not the worst. All he's got is a Diva on the field. And we see... I see a spell. He's got one, maybe two spells in hand. Now, for those of you guys who, who don't know, but Ryan played in the RVET in Orlando. I think he got... He went like 5-3, and three, I think. And his the, the deck that knocked him out of the tournament was Zombies. So, I know this is kind of a bad matchup for him. At least that's what he's told me. And Ryan also was beat me at, in Orlando. We were both 3-0. Round 4 we played, and he beat me. Okay. Just... All right, so now he activates Instant Fusion. He might be playing three. He keeps drawing it. That's why I feel like he's playing a really aggressive version of Zombies. He's got another spell in his hand. So I have him at 7,000 to 76. Let's see. He's. What's he going to make? Revived King? See, sometimes you got to be... Because I think if they if he hits his Tree Morn with Revive King, he can't use it. So you got to be careful there. There's some matchups you got to be careful. A lot of times people just bring back Tree Morn just for a free body. The same thing you're playing against Black Wings. If you bring back Tree Morn, sometimes they get a free sure hit off of it. They can pierce you for game with... Uh, they can pierce you for game with Armwing and Bora. That's actually... I won a, I won, I won a match the other day. At locals, I, I I didn't film it, but my opponent like uh, he goyoed my malicious edge, which does piercing damage for those of you who don't know. And then I top deck brain control, brain controlled my malicious edge, and attacked his other monster for game. <laughs> it just it happens. So, okay, anyway, he goes black rose and book of life, and Ryan's probably gonna chain crow here. Oh yeah, that's the zombie everyone was talking about that they play. So now Ryan's gonna have to play without Treeborn for the rest of the duel. And he isn't for 24, but Ryan's got like Ryan's up on a lot of cards. He used both his crows. So he's only got a black rose and one card in hand. If he can deal with the black rose, 
He's fine. So we know Ryan got Caius, but he can't distribute some of that. Maybe he sided in Soul Exchange. I think against a deck like Zombies, you should definitely side in Soul Exchange. Because they're going to book a life for you. You're probably going to have Treeborn. You're probably not going to have Treeborn. Especially they might side Crow as well. So yeah, he's about to Caius him here. What's Ryan going to dump? Either A, a Substitute. Oh, he dumps a dupe. Okay. Alright, hurry up. Caius. <laughs> Hit him for 24. Alright, so we got Bluff Knock at 46, Ryan at 52. And he leaves him with one card. But I think Ryan's only got one card in hand, too, so. Yeah, they both have they're both low on cards. Gores would just <laughs> Gores would be nice right there. Okay, so he sets a monster. So 22-52. Does he have play in there or something? Okay, so he changes his play. Sets a back row, sets a monster. Oh, sets two. That's weird. Okay, heavy? Yeah. I just know what my opponent has. It's like you could just read. Oh, he set a two monsters? <laughs> Anyways, GG's. He set Dark Carmen, guys. I think he was just trying to joke around for the camera. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that duel. We'll be back for round three. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.